In this video, we write a C program to find biggest of three numbers using nested ifelse concept. Here we have taken three variables A, B, C, and then we take another variable big, and then we are reading three numbers using scanner function. We write condition if A greater than or is equal to b and a greater than or is equal to c then we can say that a value is big we assign a value to big otherwise i am writing else condition here this is outer else part in this again we write another if else condition if we come to else part that indicates that a is not big then we need to find out whether b is big or c is big then we need to decide out of b and c which is big one if b greater than or is equal to c then i will assign b is equal to we will assign big is equal to b otherwise else then automatically else means a is not big b is not big then automatically c becomes a big we assign big is equal to c and then we print printf biggest number is equal to percentage t big this is the logic and uh, for this uh, for the same uh, purpose biggest of three numbers we have already seen the same program using simple if statement uh, but we are writing the program for the uh, for this problem using nested if else uh, statement now see what will be the output here let us say i am giving values 30 10 20 biggest number is equal to 30 that means in this case a value is 30 and b value is 10 a value is 30 and C value is 20. That means in the first case, now A is greater than or is equal to B and A is greater than or is equal to C. That means this condition is true. Then big is assigned value with A. That's why we got output a biggest number is equal to 30. That means in this particular case, the outer if condition is true. That's why we got output big is equal to A. Now we see second scenario. Let us say we give ten, thirty, twenty, and in this particular case, B value is big. Now biggest number is equal to thirty. That means now which condition is satisfied here? First condition will fail. Why? Because A is not greater than or is equal to B. Okay, this condition is failed. Now control comes to else part. In this particular case, now B value is 30 and C value is 20. That means B is greater than or is equal to C. That means this condition is satisfied. Then B value is assigned to big and then we are printing biggest value is equal to 30. And we see the third case. Again I will run this program. In this particular test case, I will give C value as biggest value 10, 20, 30. Here biggest number is equal to 30. So how we got biggest number is equal to 30 here? Here A is greater than or equal to B and A is greater than or equal to C. That means this condition is failed. Why? Because 10 is not greater than or equal to 20 and uh, similarly a value is not greater than or equal to b and is not greater than or equal to c then control comes to check if b is greater than or equal to c here also b value is 20 and c value is 30 again b is not greater than or is equal to c that means this condition is also false then automatically the control enters into inner else part first condition is false then control comes to else block here also the condition is false then control enters into this particular else block and c value is assigned to big that's why we got output biggest number is equal to 
30. In this fashion, we can write a SE program using nested if else statement to find out biggest of three numbers.